problems in the rice industry continue to plague the NFA or National Food Authority. Senators have found out that no rice hoarder has been penalized in the country. They also slammed NFA officials over their supposed inaction amid the, amid the sky-high prices of the commodity that's weighing down consumers. Shaila Francisco has the story. In a Senate hearing on rice hoarding and profiteering, Senators slammed the National Food Authority for its failure to act on the diversion of NFA rice stocks. This comes after a rice miller revealed that some retailers were selling NFA rice at higher prices for a decade now. When I say diversion, ito po yun. NFA rice is present in the market, but what is missing is the NFA price. So, ibig sabihin, no, nung bigas ng NFA, nasa palengke, pero nawawala ron yung presyo na 2732. May iba ho, ito na yung nagiging 41, 42. Nawawalan na pagkakataon ang mga, ano, ating mga kababayan na mahirap na mabili yung NFA rice na mura. Mandato ng NFA yan. Tapos, oh, wala nang pang gobyerno. Yung presyo po namin is 25. Sa report po ni Mr. Ko, sa labas ngayon, magkano na po ngayon? 45. Correct, correct, correct. So, ang pwede hong itong mga unscrupulous na sinasabi niyang uh, retailers, ang pwede ho nilang gawin, itataas din na. Eh, kasi ang ganda na ng kalidad ng NFA rice. Pero ang presyo po namin is 27. Senators called out the agency's inaction to track down traders who divert stocks despite knowledge that the scheme does exist. 7 billion na binibigay ho natin na subsidia, hindi ho pumupunta sa mga mahihirap. Pumupunta sa mga diversion na malaki po yung kita. Na dekada na nangyayari na alam ng NFA pero wala ho nang ginagawa. The NFA for its part notes, they are currently acting on reports of diversion and have already issued violations to some retailers. However, they were unable to provide the exact number of violators during the hearing. The agency also clarified that they usually remove the accreditation of retailers to sell NFA rice when retailers commit such acts. As for monitoring, NFA says retailers are inspected from the time they procure NFA rice until they finish selling in markets. But the agency admits that they lack the manpower to monitor all accredited retailers. Oh, sige, hindi naman natin mababantayan 24 hours. 24 hours, but sinasabi natin, 24 hours, mababantayan natin yan if we can count beginning and ending inventory. So pwede nating pwede nating ma, ma, mahuli pa rin sila. Meanwhile, aside from diversion, the NFA and the National Bureau of Investigation revealed that no cases have been filed against rice hoarders in the country. Rice millers and traders say this is because no trader would attempt to hoard at this time. But with or without high rice prices, senators admit it is difficult to catch hoarders. Uh, NBI, as the law enforcers, meron pa tayong loophole dyan sa pag-define natin ng crime of hoarding? Kasi ayusin natin yung definition kung ano lang siya. Uh, <laughs> ano tawag mo doon? Uh, co cosmetic, ano lang pala, pan-display lang yung crime. Hindi naman pala ma-enforce. There's can... so much talk about hoarding, but... I'm just curious kung paano nyo dinidetect yung hoarding because it's uh, very difficult to detect. No? So, unless talagang re-review nyo mabuti yung records. Can so, physical kasi, kung okay. nakita nyo, it's not a sign of hoarding. Eh. The committee now plans on visiting rice warehouses of NFA, traders, and millers. Shiloh Francisco, We Are One News.